All right, hey everybody, we're back at it again. So, day one. I actually wanted to come show you guys what is DoorDash. So I got my phone with me and I'm gonna show you what it is. So DoorDash is a, a, deli a food delivery service. So they go, they deliver from whatever restaurants that they're registered with. So McDonald's, KFC, Taco Bell, Shawarma, you name it. And how do you start DoorDash? Let me briefly walk you through it. So you're gonna go to doordash.com.ca, whatever it is, type it in Google and say DoorDash. It's gonna say, become a driver. You fill in their application. It tells you to do whatever else, maybe a background check. And then it tells you to put in an orientation date. So the orientation date, they give you, I think six dates, six time slots with different dates. So you pick whatever time slot you like and you go from there. Now keep in mind that DoorDash says the orientation will take one hour. But from my experience in going to the Brampton location was it literally took four minutes and 50 seconds. And within the four minutes, what did I do? I pretty much went in and said my name. They said, please, look, can I see your ID? Check your ID. They gave you their red card, which I will show you in the next video when I take you on a delivery. And then they kind of put you down, let you see what DoorDash does. So it says, you know, whatever, whatever. You click your order, such and such. Pretty much that was it. That was the orientation. Literally four minutes, 50 seconds. Within the four minutes as well, though, let me tell you something. Within the four minutes, they told us to, you know, you have, you have uh, three months to do a, uh, a dash, an order. If you don't, then they deactivate your account for obviously not using their account. So they told me to try it. So I did. So I got my first order while sitting in my orientation and I had to hustle to go get it. So let me tell you, they give you a free red bag. I don't know if all locations do it, but a free red bag. The bag is, I will try to put it in this video. It's like here almost like a lunch bag, but a little bit bigger. You can fit a lot of stuff in there, but the bag is garbage. Like the zipper broke on me on one of my deliveries. It does keep food warm. Don't get me wrong, but man, DoorDash could at least made the zipper at least work properly. Come on. Anyhow. So after that, you know, I will kind of break down my first delivery with you guys. So my first delivery, uh, la 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 la. So I think I can show you guys here. So my first delivery, come on, come on. All right, probably can't see it that great, but my first delivery was Fat Bastards Burrito. I made $7.97. Now get this, DoorDash pay me for that burrito order. I was at uh, downtown Brampton and I had to head to Maine and Bavard. So I got $4.50 from DoorDash and three forty-seven dollars as a tip uh, from the customer. And then uh, right when I did that order, I got another order at Harvey's. Now, let me tell you this. When you see it say more than $10, kind of investigate why is it more than $10? Even though you only have, I think it's 50 to 60 seconds to check. So my next order, I was in Brampton, remember, Maine and Revered area. My delivery was uh, Mount Pleasant area. So. 
as soon as I got out of that person's driveway, I got the next order to Harvey's, not knowing that this Harvey's was in Georgetown. Well, Georgetown at the time is maybe eight to 10 minutes away, which is roughly not too, too bad. So I was like, okay, I'm going to Georgetown. I got excited because it's my first day and I didn't really want to do Doyash that day. I just did it to try it. So I said, you know what, let me just get that money. So I got the order. I went to Harvey's. I had to wait there for 15 minutes because the merchant never had their tablet on. So I had to come, you know, you usually go in and you say, hi, I'm from DoorDash. I'm here to pick up, let's say Marvin's order. So when I went there, uh, had to wait and then whatever, got the order. Then I realized I'm driving to Milton pretty much the borderline of Georgetown Milton. So when I went there, I was like, ah, oh. so I was like, okay, whatever. I got it and I did it. And for that order, I, it was Harvey's at $11 and 19 cents and DoorDash paid me $7 and the customer tipped me $4 and 19 cents. So this is my first day at DoorDash for two, one hour. So guys, if you guys are looking to make extra money, do DoorDash or Uber Eats or Skips, whatever you think is easier. What I like with DoorDash is that I'm not in that one, I don't have to deliver in one area. I can deliver in anywhere in Ontario that has DoorDash. So guys, it was easy uh, process to get to, uh, to be a DoorDash a dasher and it's easy process to get orders now I will break it down in my next video about DoorDash so you guys can see what's the actual money that's coming in and we're gonna talk about ratings customer uh, uh, what is it some customer rating and acceptance rate and other stuff because these things will affect you and I've been watching a lot of videos with DoorDash and the guys who are in America and they say like don't accept stupid orders like three dollars and four dollars and don't accept those orders because they don't pay much and you're probably going far and customer don't tip and you know so i'm gonna try to break it down bring on my next order and show you what doordash is show you what you have to do to be to actually do doordash and yeah so guys as you know this is a new channel so i'm asking you guys to sub subscribe and to share click the notification bell you already know I already told you guys that I'm going to be doing a lose weight challenge for myself this year I need motivation guys please I need help doing this and I'm hoping to get on the scale and show you what my starting is on January 1st and show you how much I weigh and hopefully the scale doesn't break. Hopefully it doesn't say to be continued because that would be embarrassing. <laughs> but it's still going to lose this weight that I have on me because fat mans don't always stay healthy for long. All right guys, so peace out. And we will be back soon. All right. Thanks.